convert box review hi adam payne here with the video marketing insider and in this video we're going to be doing a convert box review now there are tons and tons of tools for list building and there are lots of tools that allow you to turn your website into a list building machine the trouble is most of these tools work the same way somebody comes to your website and they see a pop-up a bit like the one that you can see on screen now they enter their information in order to get a free gift they join one of your lists and if they come back to your website chances are they might see the same pop-up again now it could be something like this or it could be something that's embedded in a specific part of your website that's how most of these things work what ConvertBox allows you to do, and you're looking at a ConvertBox pop-up right now, it allows you to create forms such as these. You can put them anywhere on your site, so you can have pop-ups, you can embed them in posts, you can put them in widgets, um, put them across the top of your site, it really doesn't matter. And it allows you to show different forms to different people depending on what they've done previously. So for example, if somebody comes to your website and opts in through a form like this, and then they come back, they won't see the same form again because of how you've got it set up in your convert box. You can have these timed, uh, but basically what you're doing is you're showing different forms to different people. And the great thing about this software, apart from how easy it is to use and how great it is for the end user, is they still have a lifetime deal. So you don't have to pay any of these monthly fees. So I'm gonna take you inside of ConvertBox and just show you how simple it is to use. So here we are over at ConvertBox. So once you log in, the first thing you'll want to do is add your website or websites. You can add multiple websites and it's really, really simple. You can see here, I've got two websites added right now. You just click on manage your sites and you can add a website. It's just a simple case of pressing this green button and entering the domain name. Now in order for any of these convert boxes that you create, you are going to need to do one of two things. You will either use the WordPress plugin, which you can download and install like any normal plugin and put it on your WordPress site, or you can get a little bit of Java snippets, so a bit of code, copy and paste that into your website's header and you'll be good to go. Either or, it doesn't really matter. If we click on this integrations part here, you'll see that ConvertBox has a bunch of integrations and it really does have all, all the important ones. So whatever autoresponder you have, you can see I've <clears throat> excuse me, connected my Aweber. It works really fine. Active campaign, get response, drip, convert kit, all of the main ones. And if you find that your autoresponder is not here, just send in a ticket. They're very, very responsive and I'm sure they will look at integrating it in the near future. They also integrate with Demio, which is a webinar platform, and you can see they also have Google Analytics as well. So for the most part, you'll find all of your integrations here, and it just solves a bunch of stuff. So whenever anybody comes to your website or a post on your site, they will see one of the convert boxes, they're locked in, and it will automatically sync up with your autoresponder. And because it does that, Anybody that then goes on to a specific list within your autoresponder won't see the same form again, so long as that's how you've got it set up. So if we come back here, we'll just click on convert box again. It works very simply, and again, there are tons of tutorials inside. If you click on your name up here and you go to support, you'll see a bunch of training videos. However, what you'll do is you will create groups. So for example, I could create a group here and then you'll name your group whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter. So I could just call mine demo, uh, just click outside here and hit save. Uh, let's close that off. So now we've got um, a demo created here. We can click on this. Now, of course, there are no convert boxes inside of this demo. So we can click new convert box. We'll give this a name, we'll call this demo one and we'll choose demo as the example and then we'll click on this select convert box type so you can see there are two choices overlay or embedded so with overlay you can have sticky bars they appear across the top you can have uh, center which is the one that i showed you if i open up safari again that's this one here so that's what center looks like we'll come back you can have a full page so it covers the full page and that can be really really great for getting somebody's attention but again you've got to choose the best one you want or you have what's called a call out modal as well 
you can embed it inside of your content. So you can have them embedded within posts or pages of your website, or you can have it as a widget. So for example, you can embed it in the sidebar of your blog. So you've got to really choose the one that's best for you. So let's choose this center modal, for example, we'll hit select, and you can see they've got a bunch of templates. And all of these templates are slick, they're super easy to edit, and they look really, really nice. So you could put a video message, for example. Let's click on video message. Okay, so first things first, you'll want to play around with things and you just click on things to play around with them. Now this image here is pulled in from my avatar. If I was to turn this off, watch this here. If I was to switch this off, you'll see that goes away. Turn it on, it comes back. Select to edit, so now I've clicked on this, my profile name. So I could call myself um, Adam Payne and I'll probably want to capitalize my name. And I can give myself a profile, so I can call myself video marketer and uh, typo fan, something like that. And you can just put, there you go, typo fan. You couldn't make it up, could you? Typo fan. So you've got that there. Um, then here, we've got the video itself. So what you can do is you can get an embed code. You can get an embed code from one of your YouTube videos, a Vimeo video, whatever it is. Um, you can make the video big or small. Let me go and grab one and pause the video and then show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've grabbed an embed code from my YouTube video, I've pasted that in there, and you can see it's automatically pulled in the thumbnail. This is also a great way for you to get a ton of views on your YouTube video. If you've got a smaller YouTube channel but you have a website that gets a lot of traffic, you can get videos, which of course would be congruent with where you put this form, and you can drive a ton of views to this particular video if you wanted to. So you can show the video as a full width banner, or you can make it smaller, it's entirely up to you. It's really responsive as you see, so you can play around with this. You can hide it on mobile devices. It really is up to you as to what you wanna do. Come down, so you could just change this, so click on this, and I might put um, watch the short video and then I can even put a little message here at two minutes I reveal a specific tip blah 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 then we've got get started so we can come down to the button and you can play around with your button here if we click on button settings we can uh, integrate it with our Aweber or we can come back here and we can do one of these things so if somebody clicks on it they can open it up and go to a specific URL um, you could fire a tracking script. You know, there's a bunch of things that you could want, you could do. And you can play around with these forms, basically. Let's just cancel this. Um, and as you go, of course, you save these forms. And if you wanted to um, come back later, make sure you save it and you can. So let me just hit save. Okay. So I'm going to return to editor because I want to show you a few things. So once you're happy with how it looks, and of course you can preview it on mobile, you can preview it on desktop. Um, then you can come here and you can hit display. So where do you want it to display? So show when a visitor is on, on a page for five seconds. Well, you may want to have that a little bit longer. So you can edit this and you could say, for example, 15 seconds. Um, do you want it when they scroll the page? Do you want it when there's a period of no activity? When they try to abandon the page? Yeah, it's really up to you. Uh, you hit done or you'll hit cancel. If you hit done, that saves it. If not, it doesn't. Um, location, on what pages do you want this convert box to show? Now by default, it's on all pages of my site, but I can click on edit and then I can play around with this and I can determine that it only shows on specific posts or pages that would be relevant to that particular video. So there's a lot of congruency there. Uh, and again, frequency as well. You probably don't want this to be shown every single time somebody comes to your page. So one time per session, no more than three times by default. Um, you can again play around with this as you wish. Then we hit on targeting. Now show to all visitors or do we target specific visitors? It's, ent it's entirely up to you. Add conditional rules here that must be met for this convert box to show. So we could click on add conditional rule and then we can play around. Has not visited the page so we can only show it to people that have never been to this page before. Um, we can only show it to people that are on desktop. Um, we can show it to all these things. He's not, he's logged into WordPress. You know, there's a bunch of things. But the great thing that I like about this is not on a list. So if somebody's on one of my lists 
and I'm getting people to opt in, I don't want to show it to them again because they're already on my list. But if I click on this, then it'll only show to people that aren't on my list. So this is a great way for me to then get those people onto my list. And when you're, when you're ready and you're satisfied with everything, you hit launch. And basically, so long as you either have your WordPress plugin installed or you have that JavaScript code, your uh, convert box will then be live. And it's good. And if we come, I'm going to come back in a second. Oh, I'll come back now. We exit this. We'll exit without saving. Um, you can come back and you can see all the snapshots. So you can see how well your page is converting or how well it's not converting. Um, this one um, I set up a couple of days ago has got me nine leads. So, you know, nine leads is better than no leads. And I'd have had none, none if I hadn't had this set up. So, again, it's a great way to build a list. But it's a great way to make sure that only certain people see your list. And other softwares can't do this. You know, other softwares, for the most part, they will show across your website. But if somebody comes back to your website and have already opted in, they'll see the same form again. And it can be a little bit annoying, you know, if you've already taken the action, but people are trying to convince you to do it again. So I think ConvertBox is fantastic. You've seen from inside of here, it's really, really slick. It's easy to use. They've got full training to show you all the other aspects. And if we click on this and we hit support, it will open up. Their support is responsive. Um, but again, you've got the view training here. So you can click on this. We'll click on this and I'll just show you. They've got all of the over the shoulder video training that they've added. I think this website is beautifully designed as well. They've got the basic training that I've showed you and they've got advanced training as well. You can do segmentation surveys so people will answer specific questions and depending on what they've answered, you know, they'll go onto specific lists and they'll be shown certain things. It's just a great, great tool. If I was to pick a negative, and I'm being really picky, but if I was to pick a negative, I would say that right now they've got lifetime pricing, which is great for you and it's great for me. However, they've had their scarcity on there for a little bit of a long time. So I don't know how long this lifetime you know, pricing is going to be around. When I checked it out, they had this lifetime pricing with scarcity. So I kind of bought it, but it's still there. So whether that's fake scarcity or not, I don't know. I don't really go in for fake scarcity. But at the end of the day, it's probably not going to be around forever. So I find that I found that it's a great, great tool and you just don't want to risk it because they may take it away at any point. I think ConvertBox is fantastic and it is designed to make your website more higher converting. So I do have a unique bonus that you cannot get anywhere else. And in order for you to learn about that bonus, click on the link below if you're watching this on YouTube. That will take you to my Beers with Adam site, but it will take you to a specific page which talks about ConvertBox and the bonus will be there. Any questions or comments, let me know below this video. Other than that, go and grab ConvertBox. Right now it's one time, no monthly fees, super easy to use and absolutely fantastic. I advocate this 100%. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.